suffering Palestinian people and not to those promoting terrorism in UNRWA. When the government, when our government sends money to UNRWA, it takes, it, it, commi it commits to an organization whose members were involved in the attack of October 7th, and it takes money away from legitimate aid to real Palestinians who are suffering in Gaza and in the West Bank. We, as a, as a rule, across the world, common sense conservatives under my leadership will be cutting back foreign aid to terrorist dictators and multinational bureaucracies and using the money to rebuild the Canadian Armed Forces. We will continue to stand up for the right of Israel to defend itself. We will do that. any motions and resolutions before the United Nations that unfairly target the Jewish state. Palestinians living in peace and harmony next to a Jewish state, where we build prosperity, liberty, and opportunity for both peoples, and where all the Abrahamic peoples have access, unhindered access, to their places of worship. But we say, I want you to know, I say all these things in mosques. I do go to mosques. I love meeting with the Muslim people. They are wonderful people. And when the issue of Israel comes up, I say, I'm going to be honest with you. I am a friend of the State of Israel, and I will be a friend of the State of Israel everywhere I go. We can no longer have the two. We can no longer have this business of saying one thing to one group and another completely different thing to another group. into synagogues to say one thing, and then he sends another group of MPs into mosques to say precisely the opposite. But here's the thing. Individual MPs don't have a vote at the UN. Individual 